churches torched and holy statues destroyed ahead of Pope's visit to Chile and Peru. The Pope's sixth tour to South America has provoked a backlash from pro-abortion activists and protesters angered by the huge cost involved in hosting the visit. At least six arson attacks against Catholic churches have been reported in Chilean capital Santiago ahead of the Pope's arrival today. In three of the attacks churches suffered damage, particularly at the gates and facades. After a fire at the Church of San Agustin de Manapula investigators found graffiti daubed on the walls which read, The only church that illuminates is the one that burns, it is the one that is on fire. Ha ha, no to the Pope. Priest Victor Fernandez said no injuries were reported as a result of the incident because the church is being refurbished after being damaged by the earthquake of 2010. According to newspaper El Mercurio it was the sixth attack on religious sites in Chile ahead the papal visit. Police said political literature had been found at some of the churches after the attacks. There has also been an arson attack in Peru where protesters damaged the gigantic statue of Christ a replica of the famous Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. The statue was donated by Brazilian construction company Odebrecht, which is at the center of a corruption scandal involving many of Peru's most high-profile politicians. Pope Francis will be in South America for four days and will head large-scale open-air masses and carry out other activities. Speaking aboard his flight to Chile he admitted being afraid of nuclear war and said the world now stood at the very limit. He added, I am really afraid of this. One accident is enough to precipitate things. Pope Francis has often flagged the danger of nuclear warfare and in November he appeared to harden the Catholic Church's teaching against nuclear weapons, saying countries should not stockpile them even for the purpose of deterrence. Additional reporting by Maria Ortega